Day and Night Basketball, back at you with another episode. We're talking all-time greats. Yeah, we're going to talk about who's the all-time greatest player for, for two given teams. You know, I'm going to throw a team out to Osa. He'll tell me who he thinks is their all-time greatest player, and then he'll throw one back to me, and I'll tell him who I think is their all-time greatest player. Exactly, exactly. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's All do it. right, don't pick 12th guy. You know, don't, you know, <laughs> don't pick the bum. No, no, no. Uh, here we go. Theo, your all-time great Charlotte Hornet. Charlotte Hornets. My all-time greatest Charlotte Hornets. This is actually an easy one, a really easy one. Okay. The all-time greatest Charlotte Hornet has to be Larry Johnson. Mm. Grandmama Larry Johnson. Okay. With the part down the middle. Okay. You should start rocking that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but why? Is it because is it because he had swag? I mean, he had the grandmama, he had the trademark was, shoe. What yeah. Was the deal? Yeah. He like. He's the only probably Charlotte Hornet that ever had a shoe in mm. the first place. <laughs> there aren't a lot of Charlotte Hornets to choose from, but no, he was the most popular guy. I mean, he he was he had all the dunks. He was strong. He played hard. He was aggressive. I mean, he was their their main attraction player back in the day. You know, when I was growing up, and he oh. did have his own shoe. He had the React Juice. I know everybody. If you didn't get a pair of React Juice shoes, <laughs> yeah. sorry. He had the Converse. Yeah. I think he was the only one that probably did a shoe with Converse. Wait, did he have Converse React Juice or was that Kevin Johnson? That no, no, Kevin Johnson had something else. Oh, okay. But Larry Johnson, he, they both had Converse, uh -huh. but Larry Johnson had the React Juice. Oh, okay, React Juice. Yeah, <laughs> React Juice. I had a pair. I needed it. <laughs> it didn't do anything. I'm surprised you didn't pick uh, Monty Bowles. Nah, nah. Muggsy Bones, come on, man. Muggsy Bones was a great player. He was an inspiration. I mean, five foot three. He was a great player. Goal. It's incredible that he was able to play in the NBA as long as he did at five foot three. That is amazing. Right. We will probably never see that again. However, he couldn't be the greatest player. I mean, he he was a he was a good player in the NBA, but he was never considered to be like a great great player. Hmm. But he was good. He was. I like Muggsy Bones. He was good. Not Muggsy Bones. Not Lonzo of Morning. No, not Alonzo Mourning because he played on too many different teams. I mean, okay. he also he changed teams later to go to Miami, so he can't really okay. can't really count. What about the Golden Boy, of the State, Mr. Curry? No, Curry was a great shooter. He's got two great sons that are great players, <laughs> <laughs> but he was never the face of the team. I mean, he was always a role player. You know, Larry Johnson was the face of the Charlotte Hornets uh -huh. in the '90s. He was the uh -huh. man. He had the part down the middle. He had the grandma ma. He, was, he was dunking on people. Very marketable. He was balling out. He was the go-to. He was the face of the franchise. All right. Larry Johnson. All right, all right. Yeah. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Let me know if you agree with that. Comment down below if you agree that Larry Johnson is the all-time greatest Charlotte Hornet. All right. Or maybe you can pick another Hornet. Baby. If not, yeah, let me know somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Who is the all-time greatest New York Nick? <sighs> And I'm so happy you gave me that team because I, I was there to witness this whole dynasty area. So you were in New York during that time? Absolutely. In the 90s? Yeah. Oh, Bro. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> Did you, you meet Spike Lee? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but I tell you what, I know a lot of people think I'm going to pick Patrick Ewing, even though I do, I do think he's great in his time. But I'm going to go out on a limb and pick John Stark. Okay. John Stark. I mean, you, you got, we, I mean, who didn't love John Stark? He dunked I mean, on Jordan. He, he, dunked had, on, he dunked on the whole Bulls squad yeah, that year. Yeah, going baseline yeah. with the left hand. With yeah. the left hand. He was a really good, he was a really good guard back in those days. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. how tall do you think he was? He was a, he was a short 6'4". Nah, he was probably 6'2". I, I give him 6'2". <laughs> he was a tall, he was a short 6'4". He was a great player though. He was a really, he was a really spunky player. I mean, he was like a, he was tough, man. He wasn't afraid of anybody. He he wasn't. He was the one that definitely always stepped up to the challenge of guarding Jordan. Yeah, um, he always guarded Jordan. He always guarded Jordan. He didn't back down from that challenge. Um, of course, he had his battles with Reggie Miller as well. So, I mean, yeah, he was one of the ones that we, you know, growing up uh, watching Knicks play uh, with that great, you know, team of Anthony Mason, Charles Oakley, and all the other greats that are on that team. Uh, John Starks was always consistent, you know. I mean, I, I you know, low key. I mean, people like Derek Harper as well, but John Starks was a real competitor. I mean, just, I mean, being able to step up to Michael Jordan. I mean, no matter if Michael Jordan bust and you know gave, gave him buckets, he was he got back up and got right back in his face. Patrick Ewing, though, let's talk about that real quick. He was the heart of that team, man. Patrick Ewing was. 
he was he's one of the greatest centers of all time. Yeah, Team USA, uh, great All Star guy. I mean, very consistent year in year out. Uh, we knew what we we're going to get from Patrick Ewing every season uh, or every game, for say. I mean, he's very consistent with his play. So I could go Patrick Ewing, you know, and I and I could. It's very easy to get at the Patrick Ewing or even Kevin, you know, even go way before Patrick Ewing. Those guys and pick somebody from that era as well. Yeah. But you know. I'm saying I really think somebody like John starts to really set the tone for how New York really uh, respects basketball. Yeah. That's a good choice, you know. Let us know if Osa's right. Let us know what you think. Who's the all-time greatest New York Nick? Comment down below. Let us know what you think. Thank you. We appreciate we appreciate the support. Please subscribe, like, follow us on Instagram as well. Yeah, we want to give a shout out before we go to Infuse Water Bottles, our sponsor. Thanks for sponsoring us. We'll leave a link down below in the description to their website if you want to get one of these cool infused water bottles.